trig ratios of common angles. Now, one of the things we did do yesterday was we talked about 30, 60, 90 pattern, and I talked about a set of numbers as opposed to X's. What was the set of numbers on 30, 60, 90 theorem? It's legit the first three numbers. Mm -hmm. One, two, root three. You write down the first three numbers like a clock. That's all you do. If you want to use X, I did that backwards and I screwed that all up. Nice, I'm recording. What did I do wrong? Root three is not bigger than two, is it? Two is the hypotenuse. It's supposed to be opposite of 90 degree angle. One is the short side. It's supposed to be opposite of 30 degrees. And root three is somewhere in the middle. Root three is like 1.86. All right, what were the numbers on the 45, 45, 90 pattern? One, one, root two. Legs are the same. Hypotenuse is root two. Those are the numbers we use today. Not actually too bad of a lesson for the most part. There's only one maybe one maybe tricky question in here. All right, find trig ratios using 30, 60, 90s and 45, 45, 90 patterns. First example up here is find the cosine of twice pi over three. Uh, what are you guys gonna do with twice pi over three? That's right. Trace says make it a degree. She's not wrong. How do you make a pi red into a degree? If you haven't got it memorized. 180 over pi because you want the pi's to cancel. And you can type it just like that in a T84 if you can't do it in your head. You can, and you probably should so that you know it by Tuesday. Because if you know how to convert a pi rating into degrees or vice versa, it's done. Hopefully you memorize that. Put that on the form quiz? Huh? Just because you didn't know doesn't mean you shouldn't push the buttons, kids. You should push the buttons, see what your calculator says, maybe it'll stick around. I don't know. But memorization is quick. You don't have to waste that 10, 15 seconds. You know, one kid last year was complaining that they, they only got 60 of them right. Like, how did kids get more of these right? I'm like, their hands were cramping. Yeah. Her hands were cramping. Is your hand cramping? No. He said, yes, he said his hand wasn't cramping. I said, then you didn't have them memorized. I didn't want to be Well, you gave you 12 minutes, didn't I? Yeah, I you want to do it in seven next time? You want to do it in seven next time? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're actually finding the cosine of a 120 degree angle. That's drawable, isn't it? Draw a 120 degree angle. In what quadrant does a 120 degree angle die? Quadrant two. Guys in quadrant two. Mine might be a little bigger than it needs to be. How many degrees to get to the closest x axis remain? 60. It's always about the x axis, too. It's never about the y axis. There's 60 degrees that remain to get to the closest x axis. What do we call that angle? In reference. Reference angles are formed with the x axis and the terminal side. You got a good chance, a good spot here to draw a right triangle. I had a kid ask me last year, like, why are it, well, how do you know it's a right triangle? Because I made it a right triangle, didn't I? It just blew her mind. You said a reference angle is formed by what? Reference angle is formed by the terminal side of an angle and the nearest x axis. Always the x. Now, I see a 60 degree angle. Pretty sure I just asked you to jot down some numbers on 30, 60, 90 theorem. Feel like I did. I think it was one, two, root three. That'll let you fill out the triangle. What is opposite of a 60 degree angle? What length? Root three. What length is adjacent to a 60 degree angle? One. Aha. Direction matters. Direction always matters on legs. What's that hypotenuse? Two. Now something else here, by the way, 
I don't know that I mentioned enough in my last class, was all schools torturing children. If you're finding the cosine of an angle that lies in quadrant two by ASTC, what does the sine have to be negative? Because only sine and cosecant are positive in quadrant two. So if you forget about the negative one, ASTC lets you go back and fix it. That's what it lets you do. It also lets you gain multiple choice tests. You can usually throw away one or two answers based on science. All right, so you're here. Cosine ratio from Sokatoa, what is she? So can I tell what's the cosine ratio? Jason over hypotenuse. So if you're looking at your 60 degree angle, what's next to it? What length is right next to it? Negative one. Negative one. What's the hypotenuse? Two. That's not that bad. Are we right? We should be. I could probably ask my calculator what the cosine of 120 was, couldn't I? You are right. Don't forget you can do stuff like that too. This is just teaching how to do it by hand, isn't it? That's all this is. Don't forget you can check yourself. All right, B is the cosecant pi pi over four. What do you want to do with pi pi over four? Mm -hmm. Pi pi one eighty over pi. Or maybe you do something like five forty fives. You might know why I'm saying five forty fives. Pi over four is forty five. That's what I'm saying. But you can always use a little formula. Do whatever it takes to get that thing in a degree. That's up to you, brother. Two twenty five all day long. You should be able to make sure you not do that, kids. A lot of kids say they do, and then come test day, they remember nothing. Two hundred twenty five degrees terminates in what quadrant? Three. Just like that. What's the measure of the separation between the terminal side of that angle and the negative x axis? Forty five. Forty five degrees. So you got a forty five degree reference angle. You have a forty five, forty five, ninety five, don't you? I think you do. No, reference angles are formed with which axis? X. I have noticed over the years that it's usually females that want to put the angle there on the y axis. Although Ross wanted to do it last year, it's amazing. There's some of Ross. Hope he's watching this one. We're just dogging him, aren't we? Poor guy. We love you, Ross. We do. So, what were the numbers on 45, 45, 90 here? One, one, root two. If you're at any 45 degree angle, what's going to be, what length is going to be opposite of it? One. Now, the direction matters. It's negative. At either 45 degree angle, what is next to it? Also a one, but direction matters. Negative. What's the hypotenuse? Root two. Can a hypotenuse be negative? Nope. They never are. They are always positive. Doesn't matter what quadrant you draw in, they're always positive. So now you can figure out the cosecant ratio if you know from Sokotoa what it is. I say Sokotoa because you're supposed to know sine, aren't you? And sine and cosecant are what to each other? Not opposites, not inverses. Cosecant's a hoe. All day long, cosecant is a hoe. What's the hypothesis you'll try? Two. I hear it very softly. What's opposite of that 45 degree angle? Maybe one. Don't leave an answer like that. You get judged. You know that, right? If you leave that on a piece of paper, you get judged. What's root two over negative one? Yeah, root two. Why are you doing all the button pushing, Alex? Why are you doing all that button pushing? I'm trying to see if that was very fresh. No, no. Now you could check yourself. Uh, cosecant. Is not on your calculator as a button. Cosecant is one over what? No, it's not. It's one over sine. You guys are not memorizing. You might be memorizing where things are on a piece of paper, but you're not memorizing. 
Go seeking is one over sign. You could do one over sign in 225 and see what your calculator says. It's going to be a decimal, no doubt. It is a decimal. So shouldn't you be curious what a negative root of 2 is? Because that's what it was in the first place, wasn't it? The answer to this thing was negative root 2. The same thing. That's how you check yourself. But you do have to remember that cosecant is a reciprocal sign. I swear that's on the form quiz. Don't you have sine as opposite over hypotenuse right next to it? You're supposed to write 1 over cosecant, vice versa. Cosecant is O right next to it, 1 over sine. There. Everything you need is there. All right. Which one of these do you want to do? C or D? I don't care. D is fine. We can do 17 pi over 6. Make it a degree. Unless you're good enough with pi rights to grab a valve. Multiply it by what? Quantity of pi. When I was a kid and I first was introduced to pi rads, I, I had to sit there and think too. But it's 180 over pi because what do you want to happen to the pies? Okay. No. You are supposed to get 510. I don't know how you're typing the calculator. But you're supposed to get 510 degrees. What I usually do is I see pi over 6. Pi over 6 is 30. 17 30s. But that's me. I've done this a little longer. Two times. It'll go around. It'll go around one full revolution, won't it? And one full revolution is how many degrees? 360. So I think you got 150 degrees left to rotate. Yeah, you're right. It dies in the second quadrant. Looks something like that. How many degrees of separation between the terminal side and the closest x-axis? 30. That's right, Arnie. 30 degrees of separation. So, good chance to draw a right triangle. Look back at your 30, 60, 90 pattern. What length is opposite of 30 degrees? What length? I don't care about the other angle. I don't need it. You need to care about 60 degrees. What length? One. A lot of kids do that. They tell me the other angle. Nobody cares about the other angle. What's adjacent to a 30 degree angle? You square root 3, but it would be negative because it's left. But one spot is because it's going up. I hope you understand that. What's that hypothesis? Mm -hmm. 2. Now that's the sin ratio. What's the sin ratio? So my bottom, there was probably, I haven't read all the form pieces, but I thought there was 30 kids that didn't do so far. Right now, so far. Oh. Oh, yeah. Anyways, if you're at that 30 degree reference angle, what's opposite? So this is going to be a 1, what's that bottom is? 2. Two. And by the way, you know, if you want to check your right, you type sine of what? 5, 10. Of course it is. Yeah. If it's multiple choice, right? Is everything multiple choice? No. Mr. Yes. <laughs> Not everything is multiple choice. Yeah, it's not bad. Now the issue is, is can you remember the patterns? That's the issue. So do you always want the pi to Yeah, you're converting from pi to three. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about cosine of pi. What's pi worth in degrees? 180. Now, I've been teaching you to draw triangles. If you rotate to 180 degrees and you start here and rotate here, you'd be right there. Can you draw a triangle where the right angle is formed with the x-axis? No. So this isn't done by drawing triangles. This was talked about Tuesday. Do I remember a unit circle approach from Tuesday? 
It was right at the end of class when I was talking about it. No, I didn't think you would. Anyways, maybe you do, because some of your homework last night involved circles. These are quadrantal angles because they lie between quadrants. You cannot draw triangles with quadrantal angles. At least you can't draw them the way you're supposed to draw them. Okay, I'll say that. So you take a unit circle approach to it. I know we did a little bit of this Tuesday. This is a unit circle with its radius. What's its radius if it's a unit circle? One. Unit means one. Unit means one. This thing has a radius of one. Now, before we do any of these questions here, we're going to identify the four key points on the unit circle and what they measure in degrees. If you were to start right here and not rotate, how many degrees have been covered? Exactly zero degrees have been covered. If you were to go full circle and get right back to that point, how many degrees were covered? 360. And it works for multiples of that, 7, 20, whatever. It's all there. If this thing has a radius of 1, what are the x and y coordinates of that point? 1, 0. You went right 1 and you didn't go up or down. If you start at 0 degrees and rotate to the top of the y-axis, how many degrees will that be? 90. If your radius is 1, what's the order of turn? Oh, well, that's not too rough for some of y'all. Huh? I'm going to that question. Didn't you? Did you go left or right to get there? What was the radius of the circle? One. How many degrees right here? Mm -hmm. 180. To get there, how many units do you move left? Mm -hmm. Negative one. And you don't move up or down. The last quadrant length was down here at the body. How much falls of rotation do you have? 270 is what I'm hearing. What's the order pair? Mm -hmm. Zero, negative one. Since we can't draw triangles, we use that. So we use. So cosine of pi, I rewrote it as cosine of 180 degrees. This is a circle. You get to use the circular approach. What's the ratio on the circular approach for cosine? X over R. So if you're at 180 degrees, what's the x coordinate? Negative one. What's the radius? Well, there's your answer. Cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. That's what it is. You can type that in the calculator. It'll tell you negative 1, too. I swear it will. Again, I'm teaching how to do it by hand. Uh, let's, let's go back up the top. Sine pi over 2. It's pi over 2 degrees. 90, that's right. This is a 90 degree angle. From the circular approach, what's the sine ratio? Y over R. And if you're at 90 degrees, what's the y coordinate? One, what's the radius? One. You know one. We're not going to do this one. And we're going to change this one to be 3 pi over 2. So 
We'll change that last one to tangent three pi over two. We're skipping the one of sine of three pi over two. Tangent three pi over two, circular approach. What's the tangent ratio? Y over X. So you're looking at three pi over two, which is, by the way, how many degrees? 270. You're looking at 270 degrees. What's the Y coordinate? Negative one. What's the X coordinate? Zero. What do you call any mathematical operation that tries to divide by zero? Huh? I think it's a magic. That's not a magic. Yet. No. Undefined. Any time an attempt to divide by zero happens, it is undefined. So, the tangent 3 pi over 2 is undefined. It doesn't exist. Plain simple. There's no one there. The last one we're going to do is secant, but we're not going to do secant of pi. We're going to do secant of pi over 2. You guys already know how many degrees that is, right? 90, okay. From a circular approach, if cosine is x over r, secant would be r over x. You're on the unit circle, what's your radius? One, you're looking at 90 degrees. I didn't highlight, still not highlight, there it goes. What's the x coordinate? Zero. So again, what do you have here? Undefined. If yeah, your calculator won't tell you undefined, secant is the reciprocal of y function. Secant is one of cosine. What she is. Uh, this was 90 degrees, right? You can see what your calculator would tell you about that. It won't actually tell you undefined, except something funkier than that. We used to say on the fine. Yeah, that's all it says. Just error. You can't divide by zero. But that means it's on fine, right? There's a lot of things you can do in the calculator, you just have to remember. Like if somebody asks you cosecant, what's cosecant? One over sine. There's a lot of little things you can do. You just have to remember. Yeah, 15 minutes. We'll do this one and at least one more. Find the measure of the angle given a ratio, and there's some stuff off to the side. That's telling you where the angle is. That angle lies between pi and 3 pi over 2. It's pi in degrees. 180. How about 3 pi over 2? 270. So what are they telling you about this angle? Where does it die? Third quadrant. That's what they're telling me. Because this would be 180 degrees, that'd be 270. It rotates through two quadrants and dies in the third. There's the angle. All right, what else do we know? That is cosecant. So I know that all schools, at least children, think this is true, torture children. How many kids would voluntarily come to school to learn? None. What level of uh, technology do you think we would possess if you were not forced to come to school? Not even that. We wouldn't even have any cell phones. Yeah. Yeah. You might have cars. You would not have so phones. You probably have horses and buggies. You'll probably have electricity. <laughs> But not much past that, kids. We'd be stuck in maybe a 50, 60 society right now. No, we just get everything in town. What if they didn't force students to be educated? Uh, their parents would make them go. No, they wouldn't because they weren't forced to go. You're forced to go to school for technological improvement. That's why you're forced to go to school. Do you think the earth would support 7 billion people if we didn't force people to go to school? No, it wouldn't. It might support a billion, billion and a half. None of you would be here. Think about that. Anyways, you die in quadrant three. 
The cosecant ratio is given. What do you know about the cosecant ratio? What is it? Can't hear you, Bob. It is negative root two, so it is negative. Uh, in what two quadrants can cosecant be negative? Three and four. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. I don't need to talk about it on this example. Sorry about that. I got somewhere else. I know where the angle is, right? What can you divide any number by and not change its value? One. So, if you think about Sokotoa and just working with triangles, what's the cosecant ratio? Sign says O, cosecant is a O. That little sentence gives you both ratios, doesn't it? Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. You can draw a little triangle here, and it'll be enough information for you to figure out that angle. What's the hypotenuse? Square root two. Hypotenuses are not permitted to be negative. Negative symbol shows up when you draw the opposite sign. Is what it's supposed to be. It can't be one. It has to be. Negative one. That's where the negative ratio comes from in the first place. Who cares what the other side is? And I'm not disagreeing with you, but who cares? Is that enough information to figure out the reference? If you don't believe me, look at the triangle patterns you draw on the front page. What special triangle has a one and a root two? A 45, 45, 90 has those. It does. If you want to find the missing side link, that's fine. You can. It's just not needed. That's enough. What state is actual measure? Or 220. 225. 225. What were you saying, Andy? Okay. Rotation, if you rotate this much, you rotate 180 degrees and then 45. It's 180 plus 45 which is 225 degrees of solid rotation. Now, the original problem had a disclaimer about figures. It was figures stuck between pi and 3 pi over 2. They are telling you that that answer needs to be given as a radian. So you need to take your 225 and you need to do the conversion, which is done by multiplying by pi over 180. In a TI-84, if you can't do this in your head, what don't you put in the TI-84? Pi. You 1 over 180. Convert back to a fraction. All day long. 5 pi over 4. Let's see here. We got one more of these that we need to do, and then we need to try to solve the tree equation. It's C. The easiest way to do C is actually to play with the ratio that's given. I don't know if I talked with you guys about this yesterday or not. Root 3 over 3 is a cleaned up number. It didn't start its existence as root 3 over 3. It didn't. You might know it started its existence as? That's right. Bella said it started up as 1 over root 3. She understood the assignment. Because if you have 1 over root 3, what are you supposed to multiply top and bottom by? Root 3 over root 3. By gosh, what do you get? You get root 2 over 3. The reason I'm mentioning this is because if you triangle this thing out and you put opposite over adjacent, it's not exactly obvious what it is, is it? Is it obvious that's a 30, 60, 90 pattern? The sum it is, but very few people recognize that as a 30, 60, 90. And usually they say that the angle is 60 degrees. And they're always wrong because it's 30. So
So it's better to clean up, it's better to make the number look ugly again. It really is. Make the ratio look ugly. Because then when you draw, it'll be more obvious what it is. Now you're told that the angle lies between zero and five. That's zero degrees to what? 180. Zero degrees to 180 degrees. Which means that you could be in what quadrants? One or two. That's right, Nathan. One or two. Now, on this one, ASTC has to come into play. If you can be in quadrants one or two and the tangent ratio is positive, what quadrant does it have to be in? One. It has to be in one. So that's the quadrant that I choose to draw a triangle in. Now, I did some stuff over there. Most of y'all probably understood it. But the tangent ratio was redefined to be 1 over root 3. And from Sokotoa, what is tangent? Opposite over adjacent. So if I'm here, what's opposite of it? 1. What's adjacent to it? Root 3. And Parker, if you want it, what's the missing hypotenuse? Uh, number two. You don't need it though, do you? Because if you already knew the missing hypotenuse is two, you identified the pattern of triangle. On a 306090, what angle is opposite of a length of one? 30. 30. All day long. By the way, this angle existed in quadrant one. It's not a reference angle. It is the angle. It is the angle. What's 30 degrees is a pi red? Over six. Now we need to solve the true equation with six minutes left. Very easy though, you're just in algebra two. They're really easy in algebra two. We're gonna to jump to the last slide, slide eight. Maybe. There we go. Solve the trig equation, two cosines of x minus one is zero. You've never seen a trig equation, but you've seen equations for most of your life. What's something you think you should add one? Did you say drop out? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, you should move the one over. Some of you guys already know where this is going. You're trying to make it look like stuff you've been doing. What's something else you should do? Divide by two. So what you've done is you've isolated the cosine ratio. Oops. I go. We're doing this by hand, honey. But yeah, the deal here is is that x would be inverse cosine. But we are doing it by hand. We're not pushing buttons. Hey, we really pushed buttons on the calculator. How many answers did we get? One. How many are there going to be? Two. It's going to be two. What's zero pi as a degree? I just keep saying that. What's twice pi as a degree? 60. This thing is full circle, full x, y axis. What are you going to be thinking about here? ASTC. All oh, schools, torture, children. That cosine ratio was positive. And which two quadrants does cosine get to be positive? A and what? C. T is for what? T is for tangent. C is for cosine. C. So A and C. We'll just draw in quadrant one. That's where we'll triangle out. From Sokotoa, what's the cosine ratio? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So, what's adjacent to the angle at the origin? Adjacent is a one, what's the hypotenuse? Two. That ought to be familiar to you by now. I don't care. 
What's the angle? I don't mean that wrong. I just, nobody cares. If you knew that the missing side was root 3, what's the angle? 60. And the angle is 60 degrees. You got one of them. If it's in the quadrant 1, it's an answer. Now, you did get to exist in quadrant 4. What's the measure of the reference angle you draw in quadrant 4? What was the measure of that angle? 60. What's the measure of the reference angle you draw in quadrant 4? 60 as well. There's a 60 degree reference angle in quadrant 4. What's the actual measure? I think I'm hearing it. 300. Whole rotation is 300 degrees. That's like day three of working with that rotation and having two answers. It should be sticking by now. So one of your answers, second beta is 300. We are supposed to convert to degrees, but times more, or sorry, radians, but times more or less up. So that's it. Tomorrow is a little bit of odds and ends and then a review.